Yes, obviously. Okay. Yeah. Is this clear? So, yes, FPS is for foot spout second, CGS is for centimeter gram second, FKS is for meter cube second. And this is the FPS. Okay. Okay, fine. Okay. Unit is never written with the capital initial letter. This thing also you should have to know. Okay. Fine. Okay. Yes. Now, if a subway will ask you that how much distance is traveled air of by a light in vacuum, and you have to tell it in second, then it will be how much? Write this value because this value is very important. Well, about two line line seven line two four five eight second. The flight traits the distance the distance traveled by light in vacuum is well about two line line seven line two four five eight second okay, is so called one meter. Wait, so it's a. Uh... In one second, light travels this fast. Yeah, that is one meter. This much okay. of second. When a light travels this much of second, okay, okay. our vacuum, then we will say that light has traveled one meter of the distance. Is this clear? Okay, to one you? second. Yes, I will second, put it right. here. That will be better for me. Light in seconds. Yeah. Okay. The luminous this thing you all uh, do a bit of candela is the SI unit of which thing? Luminous intensity. This thing you know it very well. Wait, wait. Uh, so candela is the unit of luminosity. So like light. Luminous intensity, yes, of light. Okay, okay, okay. Yes, we just did this like last bowl, time. In the SI unit. Just like bowl yeah. is the SI yeah. unit of what amount of substance that we are using in the uh, uh, chemistry. I have taken one bowl of substance. Correct. Yeah. Correct. Correct. Radian. Yeah. Radian is for what plane angle. Okay, then radian is for what solid angle. Solid angle. Suppose I have taken a solid cone. Then how much angle it has been made? That is just we are talking about radian. But if I am talking yeah. about the plane surface and I have to make an angle. Then it will be what by radian. Okay. Okay. Yes. Fine. Kelvin radian. is for what? Kelvin is for what, beta? It's for weight, I think. For what? Oh wait, it's for uh, Kelvin meters. Um, I know it because we did it last time. I yes. uh, we did it last time. Wait one second. Kelvin is for what? No, no, no. It's right here. It's right. Temperature, Bitu. Yes, yes. That's why I'm trying. You have to... seen in your thermometers also, no? Kelvin yes, is yes. there. Celsius yes, is yes. there. Yes. Right? So, yes. Uh, if I'm talking about the Kelvin. Yes. Okay. So, Kelvin is what you, if I'm talking about the thermodynamic temperature. Of triple point of light water. Okay, yeah. so it will be well upon two seven three point one six part of thermodynamic. Yes. Okay, temperature. Understood. It's a one uh, out of two. If anyone will ask you what is Kelvin, you will say it is. One upon two seven three point one six part of the thermodynamic temperature of a triple point of water. Understood this part? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. If anyone will ask you what is bowl, define bowl. Then you will say that it is the amount of substance. Okay, you write it down this one. 
Yeah, wait one second. Uh, temperature of people of water. <coughs> okay, yes. If yeah. anyone will ask you that water is bold, then you will say that it is the amount of substance. Whatever substance I will take, okay, which contains as many elementary entities, like right, yeah. which contains yeah, yeah. as many elementary entities, yes, okay? as there are a see we always take carbon one by twelfth of the carbon okay <coughs> carbon twelve so here also we will take zero point zero one two kg of carbon twelve carbon twelve we are taking it as a standardized form to find out the mole clear yeah wait one second I'm still working on entities as there are or uh, in uh, in 0 0.02 kg 0 0.012 okay okay And when CR stands for again, like at the bottom, C12. CR. No, this is not okay, CR, C12. C12. Okay, okay, sorry, sorry. C12. 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 I have written it like that. That's fine. Okay, yeah, I underlined. Yes. C12 is a standard element that we have taken in our chemistry. Okay. Okay. Yes, I wrote now, it down. Write it down. Okay, you wrote it. Now, the second thing is about the dimensions which is very, very important. Yes. Dimensions. See, we know that we have already studied here about your MKS. Right? M yes. is MKS, we have already studied. We know the formula. See, the dimensions is what? The power to which the fundamental unit of mass, length, and time. Here we are talking about uh, MKS is for mass kg second. Now we will talk about MLT. MLT. Okay. M is stands for what by mass, L stands for by length, and T stands for by time. Okay. Is this clear? Yes. Wait, so MLT stands for. Uh... Meter, uh, meter, see, not meter, bars, M stands for bars, L stands for length, and T stands for time. Okay, so man, this is for the uh, dimension. Whose MLT. SI units are what? Bars SI unit is kg, length SI unit is meter. And time as a unit is second. Correct? Yes. Okay. So this yes. is the dimension. Now, if I will tell you to find out the dimension of, uh, suppose, uh, mass, I will take it as a first mass. So mass as a yes. unit, mass is denoted by what? M. Yes. And just see, in dimension, we always have to write MLT. Okay, yes. Malu? Now, yes. we, I have taken for what? Bus. So, bus will be one. Let that time is there? No. It means it will be what? Zero. And we know that anything to the power zero is always one. Zero. Yes. Correct? So, if I multiply yes. it, M into one into one. It will be what? M. Yes. Is this clear? Any yes, doubt? this is clear. Now, no, no, no. if I will talk about find out the dimension of what acceleration. 
okay acceleration means what change in velocity upon time we have already studied it yes correct change in velocity yes. means what v minus u upon t see acceleration is what change in velocity upon time and change in velocity means what final minus initial velocity upon time yes upon time correct and velocity before finding this acceleration we have to find velocity velocity means what displacement upon time displacement is little as what length correct displacement is what length well first understand better then right yes. displacement is what length time is denoted by t now this t will go upward well first of all listen la bachche yes i'm just writing it down yes afterward yes. i will yes. give you time first is what this velocity is what displacement upon time so displacement yes. is given about displacement is the length how much length the body has traveled and time is for what t so if anything yes. will go t is what in denominator if anything will go in numerator it will be what minus 1 because this is power yes. to the 1 t to the power 1 t Correct? to the power of 1 which is bt yes it will be become what if we go Just up t. it will be what minus t so velocity yes. how, is how much uh, l t minus 1 divided by t okay so Correct. length times uh, minus 1 uh, over t basically this is what change in velocity and velocity is what l t e to the power minus 1 that is the dimensional formula of velocity yes ha huh? put this dimensional formula in this change in velocity now the acceleration will be how much m uh, sorry l t minus 2 m 0 or we can yes. write it down m 0 l t minus 2 this is the right way to write okay okay Fine. If I will ask you that, uh, wait a minute. Well, I will give you time. If I will ask you to find out the, for the force, so force is equals to what? Mass uh, into acceleration, and ex mass uh, as I uh, dimension is what? M acceleration is how much? L t minus two. Yes. L t minus two. So what is the x uh, dimension for the force? F L T minus two, or you can also write it as at what m to the power one L to the power one T minus two. Okay. Understood how to write? Yes. Wait. So you just write uh, M L T and then you write uh, to the power of one and then for T. You can write, write this way also. This is also right. This is also right. It's your choice. How do you write? Wait. So okay, okay. One minute. Let me write it. Okay. Now write it down. X equals m x t. Now find out for the work. Now this is the work. Formula of work is what force into displacement. Yes. Now find out the. Dimensional formula. Find out. Okay, so I have to find out what is the uh, dimensional formula is... for work. Okay, dimensional formula for uh, work. Okay. Okay. Do it. And where is the homework, Manu? Ah, uh, I have it. I think I I completed it. In group, just send me, or otherwise, as a individual, send me. It's your wish. Okay.
I'm telling you again. Force formula is how much I get? Uh, M L T minus two. Displacement yeah. is what? Length. Yes. Into L. So how much also, is M? Also work equals M L. Uh, so so sorry sorry. Work equals M L. Uh, to the power of two, I think. Yes. Uh, and T negative two. So that's yeah. So that's what work equals. Understood. How to find it out? Yes. So with. Uh, so the dimensional uh, unit of work will be what? M L to the power two T to the power minus two. Okay. Okay. Now yes. find out for the power. I am giving you the formula. Power is equals to work upon time. Okay. Yes. Find out. You know the dimensional unit of work. So just find out the time. Fast. Yes. Within no seconds. Power equals m l t t Okay, Mama, I think I found it. Yes. Uh, power equals m uh, l to the power of two and t to the power of negative one. Oh, because negative, yeah. yeah. Minus so minus one will become what? Oh, minus it minuses. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Minus. Beta, here two. you get it. Everywhere time is what in denominator, la. In denominator, okay, okay. la. Okay, okay, okay. Got it, got it. Okay. Here also, so, then it will be how much? ML two. Wait one second. Yeah, so it will be negative three. No. Yes. I just did how to find it out. Yes, yes. Now, now it's much more clear. I, I okay. can do it. Find out the potential. Uh, this is the formula is for pressure gradient. This thing you have not studied. Pressure gradient is not in your syllabus, but then also I'm giving you for the practice. This formula is a pressure. Uh, pressure also you don't know, no? Uh, okay, fine. Pressure also you don't know. Impulse kar sakta hoga. Impulse. Okay. Impulse, you can do it. Impulse. Impulse is equals to force into time. Now find out. Was force into time. Okay. This is the formula. Fast. Yes. Okay, I think I got it. Tell me. Uh, okay, so M L T to the power of negative three. I think same thing. Negative. Ah, uh, T. So negative. Ah, uh, negative two. Negative two. Beta force is itself is two minus two. Oh, okay, okay. So then, so then if it's ah. Uh, so for impulse, if it's a, a force upon time, then it will will it become a negative? This is three? impulse is not force upon time, force into time. Okay, okay, okay. Force into time. And force then is how time. much? M L T minus two. Yes. Yes. M L T minus two multiplied by T to the power one. Then how much it will be? Negative. Then be in, it will still be negative one or two. This is yeah. positive. This is negative minus two. Yeah, then it be it will still be negative two. Minus two plus one become how much? Minus one. Oh, become. negative one. Sorry, sorry, negative one, negative one. Yes. You will be. 
Don't take any tension. This is the first time you are doing with me. Love. Find out the pressure. Okay, before doing the pressure, tell me the area. Area dimensional. Area means what? Let it do breath. Yes. Not tell length me for area. So in length into it. Okay. Okay. Uh, beta, here in area there is only length and breadth. Yani ki distance is only there. Na? Yes. Correct. So area yes. will be what? M0, L2, L, L. L2, T to the power 0. Yes. And for the pressure is equals to force upon area. Yes. And force okay. as I unit is how much? M L T minus 1. M L T to the power of or... M L T to the power minus uh, how much? Minus 1. Minus 2. Yeah. Minus 2. Sorry, sorry. Uh, yes, it's minus 2. Correct. Divided by yes. M0 L to the power 2 T to the power 0. This is L L get cancelled. How much it will left? Only 1 L. L L get cancelled. Huh? Yes. Let's let get cancelled. So how much it left? M L minus 1 T minus 2. That is a dimension yes. for the pressure. <coughs> yes. So equal. M L negative one to the power T. Yes, got it. Yes. Suppose that anyone is asking you to convert your pressure. Okay. Suppose the pressure is in Okay, take the power six is die per centimeter square. But the assignment of pressure is one newton per meter square. Okay? Yes. But centimeter to meter. Square, both are common. Square, both are common. Correct? So we know yes. that one meter is equal to 100 centimeter. Yes. Yeah. And this yes. formula, now dying power is also what? This is also one, this is also one. Power is the same. Correct? Yes. One dye is equal to 10 to the power minus 5 newton. Okay. Yes. Any doubts? Uh, no doubts. Now, this 100 can also be written as 10 to the power 2. 10 to the power 2. Can we type it down like this? Yes. Now, 10 to the power 6 is die per centimeter square. Can be written as 1 die is, but can be written as newton per meter square. 10 to the power 6 will be written as it is. Now, this is dying is equal to 10 to the power x. Well, look, I'll super listen. Now, after yes. that, you write 10 to the 1 dial is equal to 10 to the power minus 5 centimeter square. But this, here is also meter square, but here it is what? Meter. It yes. is 1 meter, you should have to or add it. This is equal to yes. 10 to the power 2 centimeter, 10 to the power 4 centimeter square. Correct? Yes. Yes. So this yes. will become one ten to the power four. Yes. Now this power four will go upward. Okay. This power yes. four will go upward. Ten to the power six minus five minus four. Uh it will then be negative four. Yes, that's why I will do minus four. Yes. 
Now, minus 5 minus 4 will become how much? Minus 5 minus 4. So then you need to first minus 5. Then it will turn into negative uh, 3, no? Yes, this is uh, negative power by 15. Also, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. See, 10 to the power minus 4, which is in 1. But here it is 1. It is in the denominator. So it will yes. be 1 minus 4. Yes. Nice. Yes. Okay, this is in 10. Yeah, we will get a lot of uh, power, not in the numerator. If it is in the numerator, then we will take it as a 10 to the power. Okay. But this okay. is right now in the denominator part, right? So it will become yeah. 1 minus 4. Then, then it will be 6 plus 4 will become how much? By 9 minus 5. 9 minus 5 is equal to 10 to the power. Yes. Understood? Yes, understood. Yes. Okay. Yes, yes, brilliant. So here we have all studied today about the dimensions. See, the dimensions are useful for us. But dimensions form you to take the situation. Okay. Okay. Yes. If we um just like if we were talking about uh, suppose I'm talking about uh, yes. so, uh, the Stress. Okay, yes. Okay, now efficiency. Take it as an efficiency. Efficiency will be on um, the angle, um, like my plane angle. Okay, strain, stress. There we call the use the dimension, the endure state of the dimension on the D. Okay, yes. Okay. So the main demerit of the using the activity of that is the dimensions are not the SI. We are not telling that the standard is there. Yes. So no, because the standard dimension doesn't give us the proper information. If I okay. am talking about uh, this the pressure, pressure in ML minus from T minus T. Is this not giving us the proper unit? Is it? It is not giving yes. the proper data uh, information. Yes. Right. Formula also yes. we can't have to deny this. But if I will say that meter square and uh, force is not uh, uh, mass into acceleration. And the uh, acceleration is how much? Uh, changing velocity. Velocity is the displacement uh, uh, upon time. Uh, that means uh, displacement. M uh, into time. <laughs> well, from here we can understand something the formula that we can understand. Force is equal to mass into acceleration, acceleration is equal to change in velocity upon time. So velocity is equal to what? Displacement upon time. Okay. Yes. So from here we can able to understand this thing we can deny the formula. But in the nature we can't able to deny the formula. Yes. Okay. Okay. Right. Next, the formula for the by uh, explanation. Yes. If any equation is absolutely uh, correct, it may or may not be absolutely correct. But here we can see if it is correct, maybe it is correct, maybe it is not. Yes. Understood? So these are yes. the demerits of the damage. Okay. So in the next class, we will talk study about uh, another thing that is related to errors, absolute errors, common errors.